There is no one like our God. He is holy, good, and loving. That's what our series has been focusing on. But did you know that God asks us to live like him? So what do you think it means to live a holy life? Want to know more? Well, you came to the right place. But first, let's worship. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence, you won't let go. In the questions, your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness. to shore, safe to shore, safe to shore, safe to shore. I won't feel what tomorrow brings, with each morning I'll rise and sing. My God's love will lead me through You are the peace in my troubled sea Whoa, You are the peace in my troubled sea Today we are playing Spot the Difference, and we are going to show you two images that are incredibly similar, yet hidden in these pictures are a few differences. See if you can spot them all before the time runs out. Let's check out our first image.
Oh, back already? Well, how did you do? Good? Bad? Well, either way, I hope you had fun. Thanks for playing the game with us today, and we are excited to play another game next week. Differences can take multiple shapes or forms. Sometimes changes between two things can be hard to spot. But the Bible tells us that one change should be incredibly easy to spot. This change occurs when we trust in Jesus as our Lord and Savior. When we do this, we change to become more like God and what He's like. Speaking of which, do you remember what God is like? Well, look no further. Our big idea states, what is God like? God is holy, good, and loving. This is what we've been learning for the past few weeks as we hear stories about God's people, the Israelites. Today, we're gonna take a step forward and hear what Peter has to say about God's holiness. You think you're ready? Well, buckle up. It's time to hear what Peter has to say. Peter, a follower of Jesus, wrote a letter to Christians. He reminded them of what God had done for them. When a person believes God's good news about Jesus, it changes the way he or she lives. Peter's letter encouraged Christians to live like Jesus. Peter told God's people that they should be holy. Believers have hope because Jesus will come again. Peter wrote, before you trusted in Jesus, you lived however you wanted and did evil things. Jesus gave his life to save you so that you could have true life in him. Jesus is like the perfect lamb that God's people sacrificed. Peter wrote, now you are God's children, so don't go back to how you used to live. Obey God, he has a better life for you. Peter reminded believers of God's words to the Israelites. God had said, be holy because I am holy. What does it mean to be holy? Being holy means being set apart. It means being different from everyone else. As creator, God is different from all of his creation. God calls us to be different too. He wants us to be like him, including in the way that we love one another. Before, we cared only about ourselves. We fought and complained. But God is loving, so he wants us to love one another instead. Loving one another isn't always easy, but it is good. Peter wrote, our life on earth will not last forever. It is like the grass and flowers that fade away. Long ago, the Israelites were waiting for God to keep his good promise to send a rescuer to save people from their sins. Today, we remember that God kept his good promise by sending Jesus. We can be holy because of our hope in Jesus. No one is like God. God is holy, good, and loving. Jesus shows us what God is like and gives us hope. God can make us more like Jesus. We can trust him and live joyfully for him. Grab your Bible and flip open to 1 Peter chapter 1, starting at verse 14. Here, Peter was writing to Christians so that they could know that God is holy and that they were to be holy as well. Let's read. It says, So you must live as God's obedient children. Don't slip back into your old ways of living to satisfy your own desires. You didn't know any better then, but now you must be holy in everything you do, just as God who chose you is holy. For the scriptures say, you must be holy because I am holy. 1 Peter chapter 1, 14-16 that's one of the reasons why Jesus is so amazing. He was the perfect example of what it means to be holy. And the Bible reminds us that we should live more like Jesus every day. So do you remember what it means to be holy? Well, let me show you with this container of water. 
So when we pour oil into this water, it will not combine. Watch how it just separates. And guess what? No matter how much we shake this up, toss it, or even blend it, the two will slowly separate. These two liquids are set apart from each other. Likewise, God is holy, which means that he is set apart as well. He is special and perfect and different from all of his creation. We too are called to live set apart. We have a special calling to act differently from the world around us, to be like Jesus. This is a really hard task. But the good news is that God sent us Jesus so that we can see what it looks like to live a life that displays God. Let's go ahead and wrap things up in prayer and scripture. It's through God's own words that we can understand how to live a life that is holy. So read through Exodus chapter 15 verse 11 together as a family. Then pray, thanking God for sending the perfect example of holiness, Jesus. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. We hope to see you next week.